All right, should be live now. Hi everyone. Doing more Kirby tonight. Uh, the branch is still there, so I'm still not sure about doing Origami King. Um, we're here with more Kirby though. This was really fun last time. <laughs> I had a couple of moments where I thought I was gonna lose my shit, but it's a good game. It's a good game. Kirby games are phenomenal. Uh, but now we have the new extra modes. I just realized desktop audio was off. Why was that off? I hope that wasn't off like all of last stream. Um, but we have we have two new modes unlocked. We have Revenge of the King and we have Helper to Hero. Uh, Revenge of the King has a lower difficulty. King TDD demands revenge. Will he finally reign victorious over his age-old nemesis? King TDD wants revenge. Careful, he's serious this time. Oh man. King TDD's fucked up and evil now. I like them trying to make, like, DDD a serious antagonist. Like, it's, it's like when they try and make, like, Dr. Eggman a serious antagonist. Purple plants. Now, I believe while Spring Breeze is based on, uh... Spring Breeze is based on Dreamland. But yeah, what Scoobert said in chat, this is a remake of the extra mode. Boy, an early stream, comparatively. <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to start earlier tonight. Ugh. I probably could have started even earlier, but I ended up spending some time making the BRB for this game. Which, who knows if I'll even get to use, because this will probably be the last stream of this. If I play well. That could, that could be something that doesn't happen. I've been known to play video games badly before. I'm fine with Cutter and Bomb. You didn't miss, miss Mark's, but you didn't miss Mark's soul. So don't worry, there's some Mar Mark's love to go around. Ooh. I'm doing a terrible job of hitting these things. Oh well. Let's get out of here, Sir Kibble. You're gonna die soon, probably. I'll probably make him Poppy Bros or something. Because I'm not that attached to Bomb. It's a fun enough power-up. But not something I'm absolutely clamoring to have at all points. But hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I hope you've all been having a good Saturday. It's weekend, baby. It's weekend. I'm moving it around, hold on. It's not moving around in OBS. Uh, last night's stream was four hours. So yeah, I beat Milky Way Wishes. I also beat the arena. It was like a four hour stream. Milky Way Wishes wasn't that long. Milky Way Wishes itself was like an hour long, I think. Yeah, I have, to, I have to be the one to remind you guys that it's weekend, because who fucking knows time at this point anymore? Alright. Enjoy being Poppy Bros Jr. I will take sword. I'm not a huge sword person, you know? I'm not in the sword fandom, but I do like it. Oh, hi, Robin. Welcome. Ow. This fucking tiger came dashing at me. If your friend's dying, just feed them a bomb. 
Exactly. Only real friends would do that. I do like all the reskins of these enemies. They have very cool designs. Not, not an aficionado of the blade. No, not really. I know a lot of people who love their swords. This sword's pretty alright. You were tired, but then you had a cupcake, so now what's sleep? That's the sugar. That's how the sugar companies get you. Sword was cool in Squeak Squad when you can combine it with elements. Oh yeah, you could do that in uh, Kirby Star Allies also. Man, Sword does not do that much damage. It's either that, or they just gave him a shit ton of health compared to his normal form. There we go. Wispy's Revenge down. It would have been embarrassing if I had died to Wispy's Revenge, of all things. That would have gotten me on Reddit epic fails. Also, yes, this is a DS game. It can't, it's not a 3DS game, because all the 3DS Kirby games were in 3D. Or, as the, as the term goes, 2.5D. It's a 3D game, it's got 3D graphics. I mean, I know it, it goes from left to right, it's... It, I don't know. I get why the term exists. Cause I wouldn't- I wouldn't call, like, Kirby Planet Robobot a 3D platformer, cause it's not. It is a 3D game, but it is not a 3D platformer. The color palette is muted in comparison to most of those games. Might be because they... Not that they took all the assets from, like, the GBA Kirby games, but I imagine that's where a lot of the baseline assets came from. Because GBA and DS Kirby games looked pretty similar. Oh yeah, Kirby's Adventure looks really nice. Ugh. Now, I can't believe it took me this long to, like, break the ice with playing, like, Kirby on stream. I played games I would- I probably would have never played in my life otherwise before I played Kirby, which is a series I grew up on. It's, like, one of the few series that I, like, truly grew up on. Because when I was a kid, I had, like, pretty limited tastes. I'm sure that's how a lot of people were as a kid. But, like, when I was a kid, I was like, I like Pokemon, I like Sonic, and maybe I'll play, like, a few other things. Like, I played, like, Mario Kart, but really only the Wii one. Um, I played some of the 3D Marios. It was really, like... That, and then there was Kirby. I, I did play a lot of Kirby as a kid. Like I said, I owned Squeak Squad. And I also owned this game. I actually er owned Return to Dreamland also. Didn't get Amazing Mirror, though. I didn't own Amazing Mirror as a kid, and when I tried to play it as an adult, I found out it was like... Like an exploration-heavy game, and I was like, I'll never understand this. This will never be my game. I'm glad if people like Amazing Mirror, it just will never be for me. Oh, Puppy Brother Jr. Oh, you didn't want to grab that. Here you go. I'll get this.
Oh, that's a kitten. These weird apples around here. Oh! Rocky! Thank you, buddy. Yeah, Amazing Mirror wasn't for me. You get out of here. Hello. Oh. I guess I'm getting Cutter. I would have just gotten Fire anyways. Eh. Fire's alright. It's not, like, spectacular. It's like, you, you get what you pay for with Fire. It shoots fire, if you could believe it. This is not the best power-up to be fighting these two with. They prioritized mini-boss ability and triple deluxe. Oh. I'm still sad to this day that I never played Triple Deluxe. I already- I think I also talked about that last stream, but just, like, it came out at a time where, yeah, I had a 3DS, but I wasn't really, like, itching to play too many 3DS games, because I was knee-deep into my TF2 addiction. I love TF2 still. Do not misconstrue that as I regret any of that. I mean, I missed out on a lot of the uh, best of the 3DS and Wii U library. Maybe not so much on the Wii U end. I, I owned 10 Wii U games, and that was probably enough. <laughs> I, b I bought a hat instead of Triple Deluxe. It's, like, crazy to me, like, how few games I owned on the Wii U. I had, like, ten games physically, half of them being Mario, and then I had, like, a couple virtual console games. Like, I had Super Mario World. I had, uh, Earthbound. I think I had one of the GBA Fire Emblems. I know I played seven on the Wii U virtual console. For some reason, I remember buying Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones on there. But I don't think I ever actually played it on the Wii U. I ended up playing it on my phone later. So even if I had bought it, like, I, I played it at some point. Hey, hashtag Fire Emblem, get a load of these hashtag sacred stones. Hyrule Warriors was a game I missed on the Wii U, and I'm very glad I picked it up on the Switch when the Definitive Edition came out. That's a that's a really good game. I put a shit ton of time into Hyrule Warriors on the Switch. I have to I have to like remember off the top of my head what like Wii U games I actually did own. I probably own more Wii U games on the Switch than I did the Wii U. Um I owned New Super Mario Brothers U and New Super Luigi U physically. I owned Smash uh, Smash 4. Uh, I had Nintendo Land. I had Super Mario 3D World. Um I had Splatoon. I had Super Mario Maker. Fuck, what else did I own? I know I owned more than that. Oh, I had Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, although I got that pretty late. I got that, like, only a few months before I would sell my Wii U. My old Wii U, anyways. I have I have one now. Once again, that was bought by Jin. What else did I have? Fuck, I don't even remember. Oh, oh! I didn't own it physically, but I owned fucking Wii Party U because of Mario Kart 8. That was another game I owned, Mario Kart 8. How can I forget Mario Kart 8? It's fucking Mario Kart 8. But I, I, I what was 
I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. They were doing the promotion for, like, games you could get with Mario Kart 8 if you bought. Like, they were doing that thing with Club Nintendo. Probably the last good thing they did with Club Nintendo. Oh, shit, I, I lost my power. I need you to give me a new power. Thank you. I got myself a friend. I think with the promotion of, uh... Mario Kart 8, you could get, like, I think it was, like, Pikmin 3, We Party You, and some other game that I've completely blanked on. And being the genius that I am, I went for We Party You, because I was like, oh, I liked We Party on the, sw on the Wii, so I'm gonna get this, and I'm gonna love it. And then me and my sister played We Party You, and we hated it. It was, like, not the same. Oh, it was New Super Mario Bros. U that was the other game. I mean, that, that's a decent choice. But I already owned New Super Mario Bros. U, so it was like, eh. There was one more game I owned that I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Surprisingly, I didn't own Sonic Lost World. Even though I was, like, a huge Sonic kid. I think it was because, like, at the time, like, I had already made my Steam account, and I, like... I got to play the HD version of Sonic Generations for the first time. Granted, it was only in demo form. And then I saw gameplay of Sonic Lost World, and I was just like, man, this doesn't look nearly as fun. And I mean, I try I I've played Sonic Lost World, the Steam version, since then. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't really care for Sonic Lost World. Maybe I haven't given a, a fair shake, but, eh. It does nothing for me. I did not care for Sonic Lost World. Kirby is just a guy. Ow. I'm running low on health. Ow. Ow. I don't think I'm gonna win. If I survive this, I will be amazed. Holy shit! Oh! How did I win? How did I do that? We're at the end now, though. Mount DDD Sky. Or close to the end, anyways. Maybe try a different strategy than go all in and tank hits until low health, then actually start dodging. You don't understand! I have to get hit! There's some logical reason why I have to get hit all the time. This segment is really cool, also. Oh, I didn't mean to skip the cutscene, damn it. I don't remember this boss giving me too much shit. Oh, I say as I get hit.
Kabula's a hashtag girl boss. You know, they took 12 years to make Boyhood. Fucking stupid. They should have spent 12 years making Girlhood for hashtag girl bosses. That's my shit. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought of that joke last night and it stuck with me even though it's nothing. Goodbye. Final stage, the revenge. Great King, Kabula has been defeated. What should we do? You mean Kirby is coming here now? Relax, Great King, you must stay calm. We're right. Well, here's what we do. Kirby will be ours. Putting hashtag girl boss into something makes it immediately funny. It's just like a funny phrase. Oh, I thought there wouldn't be more of this level. I thought that was uh, that was just gonna be the room to the boss. I don't know why I thought that. First test him! Go, my servants! <laughs> I'm gonna need you to do uh, the work here. What'll do. Please try not to get killed by this fucking cloth. Ah, Great King, he had an easy time. Ah, we'll see how he likes the next. Hey, we got Funny Mike. I have to be careful not to just use it in a hallway. Shouldn't it be M-I-C? Probably, but that's fine. Unthinkable! He beat that one too! Kirby's approaching here, your majesty! Cursed pink lump! I can't believe it! Great King, pull yourself together! Who's Mike? <laughs> well... <laughs> uh... His last name is Hunt! <laughs> Do you give me any powers? You don't. Third one's a charm! Get him, Fan Fan! Fight! No, I don't. Oh my god, what'll do? Hi, Zen. This is Gerby Superstar Ultra. What'll do? What are you doing? What are, what are these moves you're doing, buddy? Bro. Oh, what the f. Oh, I guess you're a big beetle guy now. Oh! Ow. No, I needed that. Why would you do that, Bugsy? You're gonna get absolutely annihilated this way. I remember always hating fighting this mini boss as a kid. Oh. No! There really is, like, no easy way to hit this guy. Great King, he beat Fan Fan, too! Uh, Alright, call in the cavalry! Uh, yes, your highness. What is the cavalry? Oh, he's just placing blocks. There we go. Enough, Kirby! Face twin fire lions! Go get him! I 
Ow. Ooh. <gasps> okay, we got one of them down. Not doing great on health here. Oh no, he beat everyone we have! <gasps> Can anyone beat that guy? Great King, Kirby made it here. What do we do? All right, done for. Only one option. Uh, okay then, I guess it's your turn. But, but great, great King, I can't do it alone. Fine, you can go. You've been spared. Don't go, King. I'm sorry. Great King! Watch as I die before I make it. It's time for my secret weapon. Now you pay, Kirby! Oh! No! Get me out of there! Oh, God! I get an asparagus! Get a coffee! How was this handled in the original? This was not a mode that existed in the original. There you go, there's the bandana D fight. Good boss. Great boss. Alright, I guess Blade Knight's my ally. You made it here. Now arm yourself! Oh, that was a pea pod? It's vegetable. Our grudge will be settled at last! Meet my powerful secret weapon! The brand new DDD Hammer! Bye, Blade Knight. Ooh! I got him. I won. So <laughs> the adorable Waddle Dee from the dialogue is just n dead now? Yeah. We did it, though. We beat Revenge of the King. That took, like, a half hour. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be longer. I don't know why. Yeah, there's just this somber ending where King Dedede walks off into the sunset. <laughs> Me when I get owned by a two-year-old pink circle. I think every Kirby villain should have a point where they have to do a sad walk into the sunset. He's walking perpendicularly into the sunset, not into it. Semantics. It's all semantics. What if they don't have legs? Yeah, they could slither. They can float slowly. Also, don't worry, Bandiana D's still alive. He's right there. How did he survive being consumed by Kirby? How is water wet? We don't have all the answers in this universe. Now we can play Meta Nightmare Ultra. I don't know why this is considered five-star difficulty. It's definitely not until the end. Like, this is literally just a time attack mode. What is a Wanya? But yeah, you can do you can do powers as Meta Knight. You also have the fly from Wing. Good first impression. Wow. 
Ponya is a Waddle Dee's noise that he makes. We can get Night Call. You're my friend, Blade Knight. Watch what Jen just sent. Alright, let me kill Wispy Woods first. <laughs> That's the noise he makes. You know what? Get through, Meta Knight. Meta Knight kisses his homies goodnight with the mask still on. You're not escaping from me, buddy. I'm gonna die soon. Let's heal. Meta Nightmare Ultra is a huge win for Sword fans. Absolutely. 100%. This is also gonna take a while. I remember this mode used to take me over an hour as a kid. Because it's literally, go like, going as fast as possible through every mode in the game. Let's heal up. Meta Nightmare Ultra is a big win for gay people. I'm a gamer now. They put that on my... Put that on my... ID. For the part of my ID where it says sex, it just says G for gamer. That gave me a lot. I could just mock Tornado King DDD. Your, yours says yes, please, lol. Let's let's do a tornado move on King DDD. Whoa, ho, ho, that almost took him out. All right, so now we're moving on to Dynablade, I believe. Yeah. This mode doesn't cover Gourmet Race. I think that's the only main mode that's left out. Also, you don't go through Revenge of the King. You're glad I mentioned my ID? You just checked yours and it expired a month ago. Holy shit. You gotta get you, you gotta get your ID in check. This is why I stream. I, I do it to help people. I can stand to go quicker.
You're welcome. I help you. Also, sorry that I'm kind of quiet during this. I, that's what happens when I try and go too fast too quick. I got a bit lost in the sauce. Mana Knight decides to beat up DDD because she, he owed him 10 bucks. Now he's beating up Dynablade because she owes him 10 bucks as well. Meta Knight, you shouldn't be so, like... You shouldn't just keep giving people money if you're gonna do this. I could have technically done Mock Tornado on Chef Kawasaki, but... soon. Yeah, let's do meta quick and heal. Aw, oh, this is an auto scroller segment. I forgot about the auto scroller segment here. That wouldn't I, I should have saved meta quick. Chef Kawasaki doesn't deserve a mock tornado because he's a fucking freak. What did he do? Is it because he said sex that one time? Sex! Sex! So fat. Ow. No, get in the door. Don't jump off of Blade Knight. It's very good that Meta Knight is just Kirby under the mask. He's just blue Kirby. This is the secret that HAL Laboratory is keeping. Or rather that he's keeping. HAL Laboratory doesn't really keep it a secret. Yeah, he just wears the mask to intimidate people. He wants to look cool and badass, and he's right. He's right to do so, but also he is just a little guy. Scoober can't handle the heat. Ow! Heal up. How many more stages of Dynablade can we have left? I know for a fact the Great Cave Offensive is going to be the longest part of this. Maybe not, actually. The Great Cave Offensive isn't that long if you just go for a straight path. Especially the tower part. I could just leave the tower part and never have to acknowledge it. Which is fantastic, because that part made me have an aneurysm last stream. I 
I mean, I can stomp down on the pikes, true. Does it really benefit me that much? On my quest to go as fast as possible. This is funky mode. It really is, though. It's like fast, it's way easier because you have extra things to help you out. One day I'm just gonna do a second stream of Tropical Freeze, like a full playthrough where I just play as Funky Kong, because I love that game. I would play that game every day of my life if I could. What's the good news now? Tell the class. I almost died there. Funky Kong permadeath run. That would be interesting. I'm not like a challenge run person, but eh. I mean, I've played Tropical Freeze so many times that it would like be f it would be fun to try something weird. Even if I failed horribly, because that would probably happen. I can play Tropical Freeze every day. You are fucking lying. You are lying. I don't believe that. I'm calling bullshit on this motherfucker. <laughs> Oh wait, I have Mock Tornado. <laughs> Goodbye. It's over. I need to not skip these cutscenes because there's new versions of them. I mean, we've been over this. These are uh, these cutscenes don't emulate well. Yeah, that's where the smash move comes from. He does a funny tornado at you. Do you guys ever think about how Meta Knight was just like objectively the best character in Super Smash Brothers Brawl? Like, if you didn't pick Meta Knight in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, you were only ripping yourself off. He was lethal. They nerfed him to hell and back. I don't remember him being that good in Smash 4 Ultimate. pretty good about my timing so far. I wonder if I can beat this in under an hour. If I could do that, I don't know, I'll fucking stream something I hate. What's something I hate? Hello neighbor. Yeah, I'll stream Hello Neighbor. Baldy. No, I'm not doing that. Actually, I couldn't really do Hello Neighbor or Baldi, because they both fry my CPU. Fucking Baldi, of all things, fries my CPU. Hello Neighbor, I can understand. But fucking Baldi. I mean, I could probably get a good hour out of Hello Neighbor. 
Creepypasta. I love Creepypasta Land, though. You have to understand that I adore Creepypasta Land. Alright, get out of here, whale. Meta Knight kissing Blade Knight is because he loves to kiss his homies. Good night. Goodbye, fatty whale. Wait, why did I use meta quick there? I don't think this makes the minecart faster. So that was a waste of time. Absolutely, like, oh god, I have an absolutely devious idea of a game that I would fucking hate. That I would hate stream. But I won't say it out loud. Mainly because I would never want to put the pressure on myself to do it. Oh, almost. Blade Knight, you needed to get a couple hits in there. You're always devious, please specify. Persona 5, I wouldn't be able to stream Persona 5. I don't have a PS4. Oh, that's a pretty good idea for a game I don't like. Persona 4, oh god. mock tornado to you, but eh. The sword kills you so fast anyways. Tang and Rampa! I actually do have the first Tang and Rampa game downloaded. See, none of you have guessed right, which means it's not too late for me to back out of it. <laughs> like, there would never have to be a point where I'd have to play this game. Your guesses were jokes. Oh god. Persona 6. There was the old tower, everyone. Fire Emblem Fates is definitely the scariest game in existence. I wouldn't touch that one. Sonic Free Riders. If someone got me an Xbox with Kinect, I would do that note, like, without any issue. Sonic 06 also, if I had an Xbox 360, I'd just do it. Like, I know they're bad games, but I think they would be funny to play. And I don't really have, like, personal issues with them. I know they're bad video games, but I think they would be funny bad video games. Here we go. Kisses Blade Knight so sweetly.
Also, I mean, the hint is already that it was 100% Fire Emblem Fates. That is the game I would- that- that's like the game I hate the most out of any game. And if like I- if I ever felt like I needed to torture myself, I would do it. I don't feel like torturing myself, though. Maybe if I do another charity stream in the future, Fire Emblem Fates will be a fucking charity incentive. And I'll just go on like hour-long rants about how I don't like it and it's writing. At least make it randomized or something so it has some entertainment at least. Is there not enough entertainment in just making fun of Corrin and sending him to hell? I say if we get a game over, the game's the game ends. That's how I would play Fire Emblem Fates. If I get a game over, that's it. Surprised the Great Cave Offensive took less time than Dynablade. I remember the times like progressing for me. why the cutscene, like, did that. I don't know if I want to know the has-been hotel dream. It's good, you promise. I don't know, that's scary. Go down. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I died. I was going a little too fast too quick. Oh, I lost all my points for that. Damn. Well, Sword Knight, you get to be my friend now. You're Meta Knight's assigned friend for the day. points, though, because of my ca embarrassing game over. I also shouldn't have used it here. I forgot this would be an auto-scroller. So I extra should have saved it. Am I gonna fucking die again? I'm, I'm trying- I was, I was- I was clicking! I was clicking for heal! I was calling for medic! I promise you I wasn't fucking with you there. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Use the ladders? No. He ha- I don't care if the wings are slower. He's a got fucking bat wings. Look at this. Didn't have to use a single ladder. Ladder phobia wins the day again. Dating sim where you play as a new recruit on the Halberd and choose which one of the knights to romance. Oh boy. That could work. I think. I don't I don't play a lot of dating sims, but that could work. I don't think I've ever actually played a dating sim. I say, oh, I didn't play that many. Yeah, not many equals zero. Let's call a friend. Blade Knight, you're my friend again. I'm re-inviting you back to my birthday party. Oh boy, it's such a multifaceted reaction. It, it is what it is. I'm not opposed to the idea. It's just like I don't I don't play dating sims, so it has no impact on my life. Alright, let's get back on the ship. Or not. I know them. <laughs> Normal boots dating sim. Oh, man. <gasps> when are you gonna get to date JonTron with an H? Not, not JonTron J-O-N, but J-O-H-N. That's what I'm looking for. Is there anyone here who hasn't seen John Tron with an H? I know I know all of my friends had to have seen it. You haven't. Oh, then I am very I am very excited. That I get to show Tron Tron with an H on stream. Let me see if I can get to a good stopping point for a sec. Go through a door at least. Okay. to lower the volume of, uh, Kirby real quick. Alright. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing because it's five minutes long, but it's very important that you check out some of John Tron. I can't- I, sh I don't want to spend five minutes just watching something.
again. I think this game's pretty good so far. Almost like me. This game's pretty good. That's what I think. And this goes on for another three minutes, by the way. So that's John Tron with an H. I hope you enjoyed that. That's who I want in a dating sim. Please continue. I want to play video games on my Twitch.tv. Thank you. I love John Tron, but I also would like to play video games. That's what they pay me for. They don't pay me much, but they do pay me for it. Oh, fuck. Fucked up getting in the cannon. Here we go. Cannon away. Doggies are barking over something. Heal. See, I've proven my point. I've proven my point that a John Tron dating sim would work. John Tron with an H, of course. Ever become a de game dev? You're making a Chontron dating sim. Oh, you want to add an extra H? I wonder what that would be like. I think like Chontron with two H's would be a completely incomprehensible being. Oh wait, I can do mock tornado. I don't want to fucking fight the cannon. The cannon sucks. Who cares? Get out of here. out of here. I hate fighting you. Don't mind my DS cursor also. That's just the way my capture card captures it. We might actually beat this in under an hour. If I do this in Milky Way Wishes in decent time. Thankfully, I didn't make any promises, so I don't actually have to do anything. I just get to have the satisfaction of a good victory.
get meta heal and meta fast. There was nothing there. Oh wait, that brought me a heavy lobster. I have just enough for mock tornado too. Get over here, Heavy Lobster. Nope. You're not getting away from me that easy, buddy. You think you can get a cheap shot in there? I didn't fuck it up. Should have done meta quick for that. Why didn't I? Mysteries of life. Oh. Since you've only played two or three Kirby games, you don't actually know what your favorite character is. I like Susie from Planet Robobot. I think she's... I, I like her. I, I, I think she's pretty good. Kirby characters don't get a crazy amount of development. So a lot of times, it's just like, who do you think is the most fun? the reactor. Damn it. I wish I could attack your reactor. Rick is funny. He's a hamster. heal here. Bye, Blade. Although I did kill, like, basically everything here. Is that it? Ah, uh, you don't even have the cool wheelie segment. I mean, I guess they can't do the wheelie segment, but still. It would have been cool to experience that without having the ability to, uh, wheelie. Is the owl from Kirby's Dream Land too cool? It might be. Yeah, I think it's Koo, because then there's Kine, which is the fish.
How many minutes is this so far? Probably like, this is like a half hour or something. I did this way faster than I thought I would. Yeah, we're barely over an hour on the stream. Time for Milky Way wishes though. Gotta go through seven planets. And we start with the worst one. Actually, the fire one's the worst one. But I don't like this on the basis of this gimmick's stupid. And I don't care for it. Damn it. Not even with Meta Quick. You see a blue Bowser plush. Oh yeah, those are like bootleg based on Dark Bowser from what was it? It was one of the Mario and Luigi games, but I've never finished any of them, so I couldn't tell you which one. I think it's time for night call. I don't think I have to do mock tornado on fucking twin woods. That's from Bowser's Inside Story? Okay. I know it was one of the DS ones, but I didn't know if it was Partners or In Time or Bowser's Inside Story. I've, I have a sworn duty in life to never play Bowser's Inside Story ever in my life. I know it's a phenomenal game. It's even debatably the uh, best Mario and Luigi game. I just will never play it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to kill Fatty Whale, like, instantly this time. Damn. Funny whale. I'm gonna die. No, I did not. I'm impressed that I didn't die. I might have to heal.
Oh, that was the level. I hope you enjoyed the level. We're done with it now. This level is the bane of my existence. You guys know I don't navigate tight spaces in Kirby games well. Oh. Th this makes it look like I'm doing this intentionally. <laughs> I suck at this. This is Flappy Bird. Hey guys, welcome to my Flappy Bird's stream. I'm really excited. I just downloaded this new game off the App Store. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, and if you like this video, I will eat my shoe. If you like this video, I'll make a cake for you and I'll send it to your house and it'll be very nice and we'll share a moment about it. I don't know if this mode puts into perspective how hard some of the Milky Way Wishes stuff is, or if it just puts a showcase on how bad I am at video games. Let me out. Fuck. I'm gonna have to do that instead of Mock Tornado. buddy. Closed your eyes for a bit and thought those were footsteps. They're coming! Mennonite's coming! What are you gonna do when he gets you? Oh, this planet's gonna suck, because it's, like, maze-like. It's like, fight all the bosses, genius. get to the right first. Okay. going this way. Oh, I lost my friend. You killed my friend. Call for a knight. Get back in here. Sword knight, you're my friend. I think this is the end? Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, Wham Bam Rock again. I'm gonna do Mock Tornado on you. Kirby Star Allies decided to have an area based on this. This fucking shitty little mini boss rush, because that's the only way they know how to make actual challenge. I mean, that's Kirby. I can't say that's just Kirby. Planet Robobot could be challenging when it needed to be. It wasn't like crazy hard or anything, but... For a couple of segments that were like, ooh. I think this is the last planet? I'm not sure though. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> that time I died. Now I'm down to my last life. Night call. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be that hard, but I'm down to my last life. Probably because I'm rushing. To be honest, I, I, I think if you played this on your own, you probably wouldn't have that hard of a time, and it's just because I'm rushing. Anyways, I got another life, so we're fine. It's fine. I mean, I don't know how they expect me to not want to rush when we're playing the go fast mode. Why am I going this way? You know what? I could use you guys for night points. I could redeem. Everyone knows Russians suck at games. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Did the one Russian guy who showed up in the Shadow the Hedgehog stream get mad again? Oh, why did I do that? That just sent me back. Because they always rushing! Oh! 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 I think it was... Like, this way. I want to say this was it. Yeah! I think I want to save my stuff. Like my mock tornado and my heals. Because if this is the last planet, then we're going to be fighting a very hard boss soon. There we go. Oh no, there was one more! Shit. Forgot about this. Oh well. We didn't lose too much time. Oh, the ninja fucking suplexed me. In the minecart, Blade Knight. We're going for a ride. I wish we could uh, have the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 menu, like, character select screen playing at all times. Gonna take you for a ride. I, don't, I like, really appreciate that song because it's like a five second loop. But it's a very catchy five second loop. I wanna take you for a rat ad. Bada bada, bada bada, bada bada. I've also only played one Marvel vs. Capcom game in my life. I think most people here know that I haven't played a lot of fighting games in my day. 
I mean, if you've watched any of my fighting game streams, that will be blatantly obvious. I'm not a fighting game person, I'm sorry. I leave that to my friends who know fighting games. Like Sienna, she knows fighting games. I don't. Most of them are foreign to me. Get in, get in the door, Meta Knight. I probably could Meta Quick here, but I kind of like the idea of saving on. You know what? gonna wanna, just in case anything goes terribly wrong. Are you gonna help me out here, Blade Knight? He's taking, like, a single swing. Like, what are you doing, man? I need backup here to kill these dudes. Thank you. Now he's helping me. Final enemy, the dragon. Fucking dragon. Petrifies itself. That's just its version of guarding. It's not great that this enemy has a chance of a guarding in a time attack mode. Which makes it take longer to kill. Oh shit. And I accidentally removed the headphones right from my ears. Fuck off. Meta Knight and his friend beat all the enemies. You gained 249 x Fuck. Dreaminess went up by one. Heroism went up by five. Coolness went up by one. Mask Shine went up by two. Leadership went up by one. This is it. Ready. I will grant you one wish. My one wish is to become stronger. So I wish to fight. The greatest warrior in the galaxy. Okay. You will now fight a warrior who was sealed away for fear his power was too great. I will now summon this great warrior once more. Three, two, one, go. I hate this stupid fucking clock. <laughs> what did Nova ever do? Here we go, though. Galactonite. Mock Tornado, right off the bat. I don't 
think this does nearly as much damage as it does to other bosses. Yeah, that was that was actually kind of pathetic. I thought it would do more than that. I know how to replicate text-to-speech voices because I've watched so much Go Animate bullshit. Okay, heal. Let's not die here. Oh, he slammed dunk to me. Summoning enemies. Nice, right, summoning more enemies. Oh, fuck. I accidentally made the window lo smaller. Get out of here. We did it! We won! How long did that take? It was about an hour in real time. But I mean, there were the little transitions and stuff. I don't know. 50 minutes! Holy shit! I can't believe I did it that fast. Fifty minutes! My god. Hello, neighbor time. I, I didn't promise anything, but maybe, like... I don't know. Maybe during, like, a charity stream I'll do, like, a segment for Hello, neighbor. I want to keep, like, games I don't like to charity streams, because I feel like... I don't do games I don't like normally. And people do love to watch people uh, torture themselves, which will incentivize more donating. That's how I view it. I don't know when I would do another charity stream or for what cause, but, you know, it's, it's something in the back of my mind. After the first one went so well, I'm just like, it's definitely a thing I'd want to think about. Chat is a sadist. They love to see streamers suffer. I'll do a charity stream where the entire time I'm just ranting about Fire Emblem Fates. That's my new idea. It's not anything. It's not gonna happen, but it's an idea. It was conjured. And now, just like many ideas, it will go into the void where none of us remember it. But now we only have Helper to Hero and the True Arena left. I didn't think we'd get that close already. We have a lot of time to do the True Arena. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. How long are these credits? Hell, who am I gonna do for helper to hero? Probably bonkers, because hammer's like the best ability in the game. And also, you can't toss your hammer and lose it with bonkers. That's an advantage he has over Kirby. Also, good night, Robin. Thanks for hanging out. There's Iwata. Salute for Mr. Iwata. God bless.
bonkers is the best. Yeah. Hammer's just fucking good. I also did it with the rock ability. The rock ability is kind of broken, but you also have to be patient. Because it's just like, oh, I can't, I can't get out of rock because they could hurt me if I do. Bonkers just does the most damage. And he does it quick. There's Meta Knight. Good old lad. And more. Oh man. It never ends. I say it never ends. This has been one of the shorter streams I've done as of recently. Um, upper to hero. For a second I was like... Oh yeah, Tack was broken. Doesn't he have the guard where you can not get hit when you're doing it? But here's Helper to Hero. When I was a when I was younger, I was able to do Helper to Hero 100%. I did it with all the enemies. That took a hell of a lot of time and practice. I hate how Knuckle Joe looked in 3D. I hate him! Alright, bonkers time. I don't think you get an ally for this. Goodbye, Wispy Woods. Helper to Hero, unlike the arena, has a set order. Oh shit. What? You can have a helper if you do two player? Oh, true. Attack turns invisible and is unable to get hit. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured. I remember him being fairly easy because of that. I had a lot more patience as a kid. Nowadays, I would be like, I don't want to wait. If you couldn't tell already, I'm a very impatient person. King Dedede. Ooh. There we go. Get him out of here. Dynablade. I might have to heal after Dynablade. Ooh. I need to not die here. I have to be more aggressive with my play. I can't just keep trying to go for big hits. There we go. Alright, I'll heal after this. Fatty Whale. Fatty Whale shouldn't be too bad. Fatty Whale's more of a patient man's boss. And die. There you go. Halfway through. Just about. Oh, Camellio arm, though. This boss is a pain in the ass. I didn't get a single one of those hits on. I am taking a lot of damage to this guy. Get out of here. Question for chat. Do you prefer summer or winter winter? It's winter. 
That's the correct answer. No, I'm kidding. Ugh! Get out of here. Get out of here. That's Twin Woods. I hope you enjoyed Twin Woods. It's over now. And slap you, and bop you, and hurt you so bad. Computer virus. This shouldn't be too hard. They go down pretty easy with bonkers. Goodbye. Now. You get out of here. defeated all the enemies. I did it. Hmm. I'm gonna try and do Meta Knight. I might lose here, though. So Meta Knight is tricky business, but I would have I would prefer to have my last full heal for the end. Well, okay, that went pretty smoothly. And I'm making great time, too. Here we go, final boss of Helper to Hero. At first glance, it's just a wham bam rock. Oh god, if I'm taking this much damage to Wham Bam Rock, I don't think there's a way I'm winning this. Wham Bam Jewel time. I can't believe I did that. Once again, I pull off some kind of fucking miracle. Now you can play the final game, the true arena. Oh boy. It's time, lads. The hardest challenge in the game.
He's even using hammer. The game knows. Mask DDD, Wham Bam Jewel, Galactonite, and who could be hiding? We gotta get the glory. Um, I want my partner to be Psy Mirror again. Although I'm gonna lose this partner once we do Kabula. So I can't rely on them for too long. Wispy's Revenge is a great first one. Also, good night, New. Thanks for hanging out. Wispy's Revenge down. You're not getting the best of me. Lion out of here. We're not doing too bad so far. This is a pretty decent run. You took a hit, run over, try again. Oh, Simeer is down. I figured you wouldn't be staying around for too long. Oh, shit. Fucker. Damn it. You get out of here. And you get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Krakow's revenge. Krakow's gonna be hard. Never mind. Krako wasn't that hard. I'm doing decently? I'm gonna use one of the tomatoes. This Kabula might fuck me up. Because I did take a couple hits when I was fighting her earlier. I remember when I was younger, I could go through this fight without taking a hit. So that doesn't make me feel super confident that I can't do as good as I did when I was younger. Oh, yeah. Got hit by the missile. I knew it wasn't gonna last forever. Got her, though. Krakow Jr. Is fight I'm fighting Krakow Jr. after fighting Krakow. I'm also taking way more damage on Krakow Jr. Curl boss defeated. Morgan becomes misogynist boss. Who likes bananas? Is this a trick question? Am I gonna be fooled? This is like the best move for this. I have to be careful. Even he knows the spin move is the best. Ooh, I got a little too close to him. Ow. The 
banana these nuts. Oh! Mass DDD down. No trick question? Yeah, they're pretty good. I have one more tomato left. I mean, I did this with bonkers without getting hit. Or at least I only took one hit, so it wasn't, like, super noticeable. It's the spin move. Thank God I'm, like, invincible during it. Ooh! Damn it. Scary. Yeah! Wham bam jewel done. Monkey S. Galactonite. Ooh. I feel like Galactonite's where I'm gonna lose the most of my health. I remember this one being the hardest one. Yeah, this one's fucking brutal. And we took so much damage to him during Meta Nightmare. Ooh. Yeah. to be more careful. Yeah, keep doing that stupid ass move. See where that gets you. Oh, no, I thought I could kill him. I thought I had one last hit on him. Ooh. Final boss time. I'm not at full health, but we'll see how this goes. It's Mark's time. Not properly synced, but that's fine. Here it is! The true final boss of Kirby Superstar Ultra. Mark Soul. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to this fight, especially when I'm not at full health. Evil and twisted marks. Oh! Stay focused, I will. Yeah, I'm taking it. Couple big hits from him already! Oh. Oh! Oh, I hated this attack. Oh, God. Oh, that's not the attack I was thinking of. I don't like this either, though. Oh! That's the attack I was worried about. That's what I thought he was gonna do. Fuck. Ugh! I made it all the way to him. 
You can help me for Krakow's Revenge. Let's try it again. No, Kirby, do not lose the hammer. I need this, you don't understand. I'm, I, I, that was a sloppier Krako run. My partner's already gunned, but that's probably for the best. I said gun. What the fuck? I will most certainly kill you. Get out of here. Lolo and la 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 are nothing to me. This move that always fucks me up. Oh. I didn't get hit that time. That's impressive. Also, good night, Atticus. Thanks for hanging out. Greco Jr.'s Revenge. Once again, you, you gave me a lot of shit for no real reason. Comets, the pink always goes first. Okay, got it. I took a lot of damage to Krakko Jr. At least these should be easy. I need a victory here. It's all-star bosses isn't that bad. Wispy's revenge is nothing. He's fucking, like, no matter what you do to Wispy Woods, he's still fucking Wispy Woods. Bye. Mass DDD. Almost hit the ceiling, that would have been bad. Oh, I should have been the fire. Fire hammer. Oh! Mass DDD isn't too bad. And Wham Bam Jewel is fine if I'm careful, which I might not be. I am nervous right now. I must be clear here. I am very nervous. It's very rare that I do, like, insanely hard stuff on stream. 
to Galactonite with a decent amount of heals for marks. I believe in you, thank you. We can do this, gang. If not first, if we didn't do it first try, maybe second try. Take away my hammer. You don't understand. I need this. I'm sure you need your big sword and stuff, Galactonite. But I need this hammer more than you two. Okay, this isn't a fantastic run of Galactonite, but I do have three tomatoes left over. We'll see how much of that heals me. Just about to fall. Okay. This is scary. I don't like this. I feel like I'm playing a horror game. Whoop. This really is stressful. Yeah, just launch them all over there. Oh, shit. You launched one close to here. Ooh. Okay, it's the paint. at me, but I did it. Whew! True arena done! I beat the game! And guess what, guys? We did it 100%. Whew! You have mastered Kirby. I am the Kirby master. <laughs> Isn't it 99%? That says 100 right there. What do you mean? And we get to watch the blooper reel. There you go. 100%. I thought you did too! I, I remember having to beat Helper to Hero, but I unlocked the blooper reel. Oh, wait. Hmm. Well, there's some cutscene I'm missing. 
But I got the blooper reel, which is the most important thing. Which, by the way, I need to show this blooper reel on stream, I think. I don't want to even show it in the emulator, because I know the emulator's laggy. Of course I'm using a real copy also. Nintendo, don't sue. Find the blooper reel. Here we go. This is, uh, I need to see who uploaded this after. Hi again, Robin. Oh! Fucking idiot. This one's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the cuts, the final cutscene should be Helper to Hero with all helpers, which I'm not gonna do on stream. I, I got 100%. That's about as completionist as I usually go. He didn't get a single one of those foods in his mouth. The audience track really is lull. I just appreciate, like, a blooper reel being in here in the first place. Like, the only other Nintendo game I can think that has, like, a blooper reel is fucking, what was it? It was Mario Power Tennis or something. The, pa the tennis game on GameCube. I think they should do more things like that. That's 101%. I could see if there's, like, an upload of that cutscene. Cause I'm not gonna do that on my own. Oh! This one's pretty good. I liked it, this one. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, it's like old Pixar movies where they had, like, the animated blooper reels, even though, you know, you, ca you can't have a blooper reel in an animated movie. Marks fell. He's okay, though. <laughs> I don't even know what the blooper there was. Did Kirby lose? But there you go. Um, Kirby Superstar Ultra. A 30 hero final cutscene. I don't know. All cutscenes. This should work. This better have all cutscenes, Mr. Masked Meta Knight 4! I don't- I don't see the last cutscene. <laughs> we already got the blooper reel and Kirby Master. Yeah, we got this cutscene already. Well, then what was the point? There has to be another cutscene. This one has extra minutes. Oh, original Kirby movies. What is this? Oh, this is just the Kirby's... The original versions. Huh. I guess that could be a reward. It just doesn't- it just doesn't beat the blooper reel. It just doesn't- I unlocked the blooper reel, that's all I needed. Really. Um, but I didn't expect it to beat that so fast. That only took like two hours. Holy shit. That's like, it, it, it's too early for me to just want to, like, want to, like, end the stream. But I hope you enjoyed Kirby Superstar Ultra. I guess I can give some closing thoughts on the game, since I am done with it. Um, really good! It's a fantastic game. Uh, Kirby, I, I told you, it's one of the few franchises I actually grew up on. And I played the hell out of this one specifically. 
I got so much enjoyment out of it, and uh, if you, I had some of that skill left in me from when I played this game all the time. It's uh, really good. I, I recommend it. Like, if you've never played Kirby Superstar, like, go for it. Even if you can't get your hands on the Ultra version, like, the original version's still pretty good. Um, it doesn't have all the extra modes, like, you're not gonna get Revenge of the King, you're not gonna get Meta Nightmare Ultra, Helper to Hero, or the True Arena. But, um, I mean, those seven that you get, like, that's still a solid package, I would say. Um, Kirby is kind of, like, low difficult, very, very chill, except for, like, that difficulty spike at the end. Um, and I really enjoy them. So I'm glad I finally beat my first Kirby game on stream. So here's to more Kirby. Uh, maybe not immediately, but at some point we'll do more Kirby.